Okay, June 2018, number two. A programmer has written an algorithm or program to output a series of numbers. The algorithm, or you could say program, is shown below. So it has, let's study this algorithm, or really it's a program, and let's look at the structure of it. It has seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's read it just like you read a piece of text. Line one or zero one, four K equals one to three. So here we have a for loop, which is an example of iteration. The variable is K. And the first value it takes is one. The second value is two. The third value is three. Line O2, 4P equals one to five. So here again, we have another for loop and the variable here is p and it takes values one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Then here you print k plus p and then here line four you have next p. So from line two to line four you have what is a inner for loop. It's a for loop and it's an inner for loop because from line one to line five, you have the outer for loop. So here you have a nested loop construction here. Then when you come out of the two loops, you have line six, m equals seven, and then line seven, print m times m. So the question here is give the first three numbers that will be printed by this algorithm or program. So how would you go about this? What you do is you trace this program. And what do I mean by this? Okay, let's have these headings there. K, P, so you've got variables K and P, and you're printing K plus P. So I've got another heading here, K, print K plus P. So the first variable, well, the first value of K is, well, it says for K equals one to three. So the first value is one. Then it says for p equals one to five. So the first value of p is one. Then it says print k plus p. So print one plus one, which is two. Then next p, so the next value of p is two. And remember the value of k still retain as one and print k plus p, print one plus two, which is three. Go around again. Now K is still one, but P becomes three. And print K plus P, one plus three, which is four. So the first three numbers which are printed by this algorithm are two, three, four. Then it says state how many times line three will be executed if the algorithm runs through once. So this, you could say program, runs through once. And you have an outer loop here, and you have um, an inner loop here. And each time the outer loop executes, and the outer loop executes three times, because it says 4K equals one to three, the, the inner loop, executes five times. So it's three times five, which is 15. So line three, which is print K plus P, is executed 15 times because the inner loop is executed five times. For each time, the outer loop is executed and the outer loop is executed three times in total and if the inner loop is executed five times for each time the outer loop is executed it's three times five so in total this line print k plus p will be executed 15 times then it says identify two basic programming constructs that have been used in this algorithm well there's the for loop and that is an example of iter and in brackets, I'll put lines 
one and two and I'll put four loop here just for our education and then lines five and six are executed one after the other so that is a example of a sequence and I'll put um, here lines executed one after the other as in lines six and seven for our education here okay now define what is meant by a variable now just know in this program we have three variables k p and m so what does it mean by a variable well there's a definition here that we have memorized hopefully and we can just trot off so it's a an identifier the identifiers in this case are p k and m used to store data a value and this data or this rather which meaning referring to the data which can be changed whilst the program is running and the definition of a variable is something you will have memorized beforehand and you can just drop that off if you're asked that now identify two variables that have been used in the algorithm above so let's go back up here so the variables are k p and m and that's three variables there it's just asked you for two so i'll just put here k p and i'll just put here could have also mentioned m so here is the um, number two here 